Greetings everyone and welcome back to Stellaris and of course to the Lost Moon Unification. The galaxy is starting to look very colourful of late. Uh, we need a lot more fighting to be happening. But first and foremost, uh, resource storage full. Let's go ahead and trade, shall we? Let's find... Uh, let's see. Actually, Curator. Um, can you aid us in our research? We would like to purchase a service, yes. Uh, it's been a little while, actually. Uh, that, I, that hasn't been happening. Rather silly of me. Uh, ooh, inactive building. Yeah, there's still loads of inactive buildings. There's going to be inactive buildings for a while, I'm afraid. Uh, but let's go to the traders and get a little bit of trading going. I would like to trade for minerals, please. And I will trade a lot of energy for them. There we go, 10k. There we are, that'll do. Thank you. Now, hopefully we can uh, get our minerals up a little bit more. We're going to need a lot of uh, shipbuilding going on, though, unfortunately. Uh, we've got some hostile forces in our systems, uh, but nothing too terrible right now. Uh, we should be back up there shortly, and we can start taking those worlds. Uh, we don't know what's going on. Well, actually, we do know in any um, system where we've actually claimed one of the planets, we can see what's going on there, but uh, it's going to be a little while. Uh, right, Sparta, fantastic, there we go, let's get the fleet out here again, and we'll just go for Dunga for now, but Sparta should be able to launch its um, Mega Warforms. There we are. It's still making a lot of them, though. Uh, I'd actually like a bunch of Daplings made, too. They get made very, very quickly. Technological acquisition successful. Marvellous. There we are. Army damage has increased. Fantastic. Uh, let's continue increasing our army health, then. Right. With that done, let's grab you and head on out. I think that should be fine. Uh, actually, where's this? Oh, right, it was one of the uh, plants I didn't quite manage to completely claim. Uh, well, first then we'll head over there and top that one up. Let's see, you've got a small fleet there. Sure, let's uh, get in there and take it out before it gets up to any nonsense. There we are. Are they going to hang around to, to face us or not? Is the, is the big question. They are. I, I respect that, frankly. I do. I, I, I truly respect that. Well done, you. Uh, right, once that's done, go ahead and wipe that out as well. Some more energy credits coming in. Um, we could get the archaeology lab. It isn't going to help us in any meaningful way, but uh, sure, I'll, I'll get it just to clear that the queue, I guess. Uh, if we can pop up there and successful. that out, we'll then move in and bombard. We've also got some more minerals coming in. Marvellous. That's something I am actually very happy to see. Uh, let's continue to increase kinetic weapon attack speed. Construction uh, you complete. You could please move in there. The transport fleet has already moved into position. Uh, land armies and I'll redistribute my units there. Spaceport of Morovia has finished its production queue. Marvellous. That is very, very good news indeed. Uh, right. At the moment, my civilian ships don't. I don't need to know what they're doing. So we'll uh, uh, close that so I can just see this a little bit better. Uh, on that note, neither do I need to see the habitats either. They can just do their stuff. And we'll leave one mega warform here and three dapplings. There we go. Still not a very large army, unfortunately. Uh, right, let's get you guys over here. Actually, hmm. yeah, let's let's head in. Just sit on their plan for a little bit. If we can wipe out their construction vessels, that would not be a bad thing. Actually, yeah, they got two planet. Oh, they have got uh, two planets set up. I think. Oh, okay, construction back. complete. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes, I forgot to set you going. Uh, let's see. We could increase the energy weapon damage or attack speed. It wouldn't be a terrible thing. 
sure. Let's reduce building costs instead. I mean, we're not using energy weapons nearly enough to make that worthwhile. All right, let's get you guys in here. And do what we can. That is a little bit of a frustration, though, honestly, having two systems in here, because I have not set up um, to liberate these systems. So there's going to be a system that's sharing, which is not exactly ideal. We'll have um, planets of two separate empires in here at the same time. Not ideal at all. All right, Avakis, I need more ships, please, and thank you. Get loads of donages for now. There we go. And land armies. There we go. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. It should be over very easily considering the army that we've set this. Uh, there we go. Once again, leave one there. And after we claim this other planet, I think with that, we're going to leave. Oh, well, how many are there? We can probably claim one more planet besides, but uh, other than that, we'll be uh, focusing on just damaging our opponent's infrastructure rather than, than claiming worlds. There we go. And land and occupy, please. Planetary pacification protocols initiated. Should not take very long. Indeed, it is done. I guess we're leaving... Three war forms there. That seems reasonable. And we will head on out. Where to next? Oh, sizable force there. A sizable force. I approve. Let's get in there and destroy them, shall we? I would like that very much. And you can move in as well. Just as soon as I know where our ships are going to appear from. Are you jumping? There we go. Oh, they're moving off. Wise move. Very wise. Where are they going to, though, is the question. Oh, they have... No! Drat. Can I emergency retreat? Ah, oh, scallywags. Uh, oh, well. There you go on then. Fleet unit offline. Yep. That was unfortunate. That was extremely unfortunate, in fact. Oh well, guess we're not taking any anymore. But they're gonna pay for that. Dearly, in fact. We should be able to uh, very quickly reduce their fleet. But let's get in close and have a nice little watch of this play out. There we are and slow things down. They are sending uh, but what looks like we'll win missiles our way. Very well. Are we shooting many of those down? No, we are not. We really aren't. That is not something that's good. I want to see those things being taken down much faster. Our strike craft are moving in. Okay, well, this shouldn't be too terrible, I suppose. Uh, unfortunately, I should have actually had these upgrade when last we were in a position to. I'm not going to pull the, the fleet back. I'm going to let the fleet fight this out. How are they doing? Are we doing much damage to their ships back here? I'm not seeing shields, so it's quite likely that any shields they had have already gone. And at this point, we're just destroying... We're just uh, hammering them with our kinetic weapons. But that is not good. We definitely need much better point defense, I think. Significantly better point defense. Hopefully we'll be able to get that set up shortly. Alright. How many ships does it seem that they have lost versus the ships that we've lost? It's a little bit harder because our ships are, are, are a bit more spread out. They're dancing in the night, whereas theirs are clumped together. It makes it a little bit easier for us to see how many they have still in the fight. Oh, wow. Really? Are all of their battleships gone? They may well be, in fact. It looks like they have bailed out. Well, interesting. Very well. We, again, lost a, a bit of our, our fleet, but uh, less than they did. 
Let's have a look then. Got a diplomatic insult. Hello, little bottlings. Have you learned how to count yet, or are you still stuck on ones and zeros? <sighs> really? Really? Okay, well, we lost one battleship, 18 destroyers and 4 cruisers. They lost 9 battleships, 9 corvettes, 14 destroyers, another 6 battleships, 7 corvettes, and 2 cruisers. I mean, that fight was definitely in our favour, but we did pay for it, in a way, which I'm not at all happy with. Perhaps it would be wise if we had our fleet return. I think it probably would be. Very well. Uh, let's see you then. Can I select you? Please go back and up upgrade. And that's going to be very, very important indeed. Uh, you are currently building a number of battleships. Morovia, could you build me some more destroyers? Uh, sorry, cruisers. And Midos. Hmm. Sure, make a bunch of Krakens as well. It's clear now that they are actually fielding reasonably powerful ships, uh, missile ships. So let's just have a quick look back through. Small amount there. What about the Kraken? The Kraken is by and large anti missile. Alright. Maybe I should upgrade the gunner side a little bit, in fact. Let's see. Can I do that? No, I won't be able to save it while I'm I'm building some. Uh, that's fine, though. I think, for the most part, we, we should be okay. As long as I can get a lot of Krakens made, we should be okay. Oh, I'm liking this music. Especially liking this music. Okay, let's get our fleet back, and they can upgrade. Where are you headed? Okay, quite a fair ways back, actually. Uh, right, well, we control all of these systems, which is grand. We're going to need a little while before we've got enough uh, forces to send back out. The fact that we have Mega Warframes on all of the planets is good, because it's going to make it hard for them to take these back no matter what they send at us. Uh, they've got a small thing there. That's completed. not a terrible one, actually. Okay. Time for you to be on the move. Please get up here and take them out as soon as you can. Because I do not want them to be able to land any uh, troops on that planet in the meanwhile. Uh, we will also slip through, just wipe a couple of other things out once we get there. That should be fine. It's going to be a long while before Sparta has built up enough army there for us to uh, see a decent amount of uh, assault troops out again. So it looks like we're probably going to be focusing mostly on attacking their fleets for now. Okay, let's see how this goes down. Oh wow, we're all showing up at the same time. I approve. This is going to be a bit of a, a, bit of a hectic fight, actually. I approve enormously. All right. Let's see how our allies do. They're engaging. Uh, actually, that's a that's a decent sized fleet there. Let's uh, join in as well. Let's help our ally here. There we go. Marvelous. I approve. Once again, we're going to be watching this in a, in a bit more of a cinematic way. Though I'm not going to slow it down quite as much as I do usually. Otherwise, we're going to spend the entire episode watching these beautiful fights play out. And beautiful they are. I would actually rather get uh, get this war over and done with in this episode. There we are. Let's see how this is going down. We're already seeing a lot of these ships downed, unfortunately. Uh, it looks like they've bailed. Okay. Well, that's a little bit sad, honestly. A little bit upset about that one. Ooh, really? Now that is interesting. I haven't seen that in a long time. Very well. Aurelia, what are you currently doing? You're assisting research, but where? Uh, where are you assisting the research? Uh, I'll train. Okay, I'll try and remember that. Probably won't, actually. Uh, right, let's uh, get you over here then, please. Go ahead and research that project for me. 
How much did they lose? They lost very, very little. I'm glad about that. Very glad, actually. Okay, well, let's start scouring this area for things to destroy. First, I would like you to go up here. Sure, go ahead. Wipe these things out. Then I would like you to start jumping. We'll be following it along as it jumps because it's got a decent enough scanner that we should be able to see quite a lot of... Um, get quite a lot of information on the composition of fleets. In fact, if there are any fleets in these areas as it approaches them. And as more of my ships are coming up that way, they're automatically scanning everything as well, which is quite useful. In fact, let's head down here. I think that'll be a better location for us. There we are. Takes a long time for this fleet to actually jump, which is a bit of a shame. Right, we could increase the scanner range or we could get energy credits. I think it'll always be energy credits at this point. That's generally the thing we need the most. Ooh, fantastic. What luck. Get down there and destroy them if you can. Communications alert. No? Okay. Uh, peace offer. Uh, let's see. No, I, I'm afraid not. Uh, hopefully the, the, the Zarkon have made you aware that that is not how this is going to happen. That is just not how this conversation goes. Right, if you could follow them along, that'll be fine. They are probably just going to sit on that planet. Construction. They're going to constantly be sending in these these small groups, and that's fine. Uh, hopefully, ooh, that one's a decent one. Uh, all right. Are you heading over there? Or are you still fighting something? You are still fighting things. Very well, you should head out now, at the very least. Uh, ooh. Go to map. Right. You know what, though? Yeah, hopefully you did. You, you bailed out. Good. Right. Decent little fight here. We should be able to, to wipe them out with impunity of ease, honestly. I doubt we're going to see many losses, if any. Uh, some more behind? Oh, that's fantastic. Good time. That's right. Keep sending all of your forces to me so that I can kill you all. Go ahead and resume that research project. We actually lost the battleship there, though. That's a bit of a shame. But we killed many numbers, uh, many, many times more battleships, so it's not a problem, really. Uh, a bit of a shame, but not, a, not a, a, something to be concerned about at the moment, I don't think. All right, let's continue having a look through them. See if we can't find the next area we want to be. I'll jump up there next. Uh, we'll probably wipe out a couple. Yeah, there's, there's nothing in particular down there. But, uh, there we go. Let's jump in here. Technological acquisition and successful. Sure, wipe out all of this, ideally. Let's go through there. Kill everything. We're not going to be claiming any of these planets, as I mentioned. Dissected. Ooh, wonderful. Uh, we actually got nothing out of it, which is a bit of a shame, but okay. Uh, we just got uh, some research, but we didn't actually gain any insight into tech. I, I was surprised that there might be tech out there, but it could have been a rare tech that might not show up too often. Which is honestly what I was hoping for, but oh well. Uh, army health has increased. Very good. Uh, let's continue to... Um, yeah, army health. Let's, let's continue helping them tank, I think. There we are, and wipe that out as well. Okay, next location then. Just jump straight on over there. And then we're going to... Well, actually, head in here first, and then... Executing the invasion next location. Oh dear, are we being chased by something? Uh, we have entered an area with a station. Okay. They're Executing managing to hold themselves. Protocols. Wow, they really have expanded around there, haven't they? That is not something I'm going to allow. But it could very easily get out of hand. I Executing imagine. evasion protocols. Very easily. There we go. Oh dear. No, no, this is this fleet. That's fine. Right, okay. That's uh, the next one done. Uh, let's continue on. Executing evasion protocols. Oh, hished. Uh, let's see. 
They're having some space battles. Oh, wow, that actually lost us a lot. Executing evasion protocols. That's not good at all. Wonder how how many got taken out there. Executing uh, evasion protocols. How about instead you go here, then there, then there. Then that might be a little bit better for you. You did. Executing evasion protocols. Oh my lord. This is torture. It's punishment for something. I'm not quite sure what. I, I'm lovely. I've done nothing wrong. I definitely haven't sub subjugated several species. And if I had, it's for their own good. There we go. Just wipe everything else out that's here. And move on. Uh, right. Uh, we could actually jump through here as well, I suppose. Wouldn't be a terrible idea just to uh, sweep in, take out a couple of fleets. Uh, they've got a small fleet over there, nothing particularly interesting at the moment. Right, if we could wipe all of this out, then that would be great. Ooh, hello. Well, that was interesting to see. How big is that? Oh, it's a fairly small one again. Though, I believe they're using the hyperlanes, so with that I should actually be able to work out where they're headed and how they intend to get there. And then I can just blockade those hyperlanes. No, no, decline. I still want everything I asked for. I know, greedy, but... Well, I feel that I'm in a position where I can demand it, really, so... Let's jump down here. How big is that force? Uh, it's not big enough. That's wonderful. As long as they keep sending just small forces like that, then my allies can just wipe out what... Uh, they can just clean up over there. We don't have to do too much. There we go. Marvellous. A little bit of a fight there. And wipe out everything else. I wonder if I can give you the fleet orders to be ultra aggressive let's have a look at that i might do fleet stance passive no aggressive so we will automatically attempt to enter combat with hostile targets in the same system excellent that's exactly what i want uh ground support light stance will cause 0 0.3 damage to the plant's fortification each day multiplied by the support and fleet size uh defending armies will not regenerate health i could change that to something much nastier uh we could in fact just sit there and wipe out um, the populations of, of worlds if we really wanted to this way. I'm not strictly certain that we, we want to do that. Let's not be massive jerks. Uh, right, more enemies in there. And we are already at the point where we need to trade. Fantastic, let's do that. And we'll trade for minerals get quite a few there we are and with that I think we can happily go ahead and continue work on our science nexus let's grab you and begin work please marvellous that's going to start bringing in even more upgrades and in many ways, that is what's keeping my, my fleet alive. I'm, at this point, just making them better constantly. I'm not getting them better technology. I'm quite literally just making their guns better, which is fantastic, if you ask me. Right, you finish there. At this point, I can just have you jump between systems, and you'll kill all of the things in that system, which is exactly what I need. And now that we've got that, though, let's go ahead and get some more... Cruisers, please. There we are. And Rovia should do the same. I'm not interested. At all. I'll have a look at it. And then I'll decline it. Let's have a look. Uh, you're winning a couple of fights here and there. But generally speaking, it's not much. Uh, the, uh, 
cabbage system at some point in galactic history evidently supported a vast orbital infrastructure of unusual proportions that has since been systematically demolished. There are large concentrations of debris in geostationary orbit around most planetary bodies in the system, including several massive space station hulks. The largest of these hulks is a colossal sentry array. Our initial scan suggests that when it was operational, the array was powerful enough to provide real-time sensor coverage over the entire galaxy. Fascinating, but uh, I'm not too interested in it, I'll be honest with you. Uh, they're doing okay down here. Alert. They're Spaceport being engaged. beaten up a fair bit, but uh, spaceport engaged? Are we engaging it? Or are they engaging us? Let's have a look. Don't believe they're engaging us, so that's fine. Have a look at what you're doing. Could you go and destroy this for me instead? Thank you. There we are. I don't actually want you to destroy the ruined sentry array, though. Simply because they, they, that's just destroying information from the universe, and I, I can't abide by that. Not even slightly. Right, how's everything else going? Uh, they've got a 10k fleet there. Hopefully my ally will take care of that, but uh, I'm not sure they're in a position to. Uh, oh, right, I see. It looks like uh, my fleet, as they've been moving through, have been getting into a little bit of trouble here and there. How silly of them. Uh, right, let's jump down here. We'll just wipe these out. Then swing back uh, through their home world. Do a bit of damage there. Oh, dear. Okay, that was not a good place for you to have gone and fought. Uh, very well. We'll wipe these out and then head over there and try and take that on. I do wish you'd have Technological avoid acquisition areas successful. that you know are dangerous, though. Uh, let's increase our strike craft attack speed. Yeah, we've got a couple of stations down there that I'd like to wipe out. Construction it does complete. put a little bit of a damper because I wanted to go and smack the home world around a little bit, but uh, uh, this is fine. There we go, and let's get you down there, shall we? The, there are a couple of stations here. We can probably find several stations through here. My lord, they're setting up a lot of stuff. I can't say I approve. I must be honest. There we go. And there's a couple of units there, but they are now gone. That's fine then. Uh, let's jump down here and start clearing up the path so they can get to us easily. We're at 43%. I'm thinking we are going to need to start taking more Construction planets. Construction complete. Let's have a look. Sparta's got a reasonable amount of uh, warriors there now. We should be okay for a little bit. Uh, we'll continue dropping building costs where we can. Really? Oh, I see. Yeah, that kind of makes sense, actually. You're basically orbiting a friendly station, but uh, that doesn't that isn't quite the same as being in orbit of a station you own. Um, so unfortunately. It does mean that uh, we're not getting the economic impact reduced. Brave, but foolish, I think. Right, they're moving out again. Communications alert. No, not happening. Let's sweep through here and try and do a little bit of damage where we can. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at Sparta then. Sparta's now training the assault army, so that's actually really good. Let's get everyone in the sky. There we go. And you will be led by... This time you're going to be led by Robo Battalion. And since we're over here anyway, let's, let's head up and we'll start grabbing these uh, locations since they're so close. 
And go ahead and jump in there. Just make sure that you're all actually merging. Doesn't appear that you are, unfortunately. Can we get you to merge? Yes, we can. Oh. Alright, let's get you over there as well then. And then we'll have everything merge up. Is Avakis able to produce more? Uh, we've got quite a lot of damages. Uh, we'll go with Gunnicides for now. Lots of Gunnicides. Army's even stronger. Lead is a little bit longer lived. Let's get it together. The Science Nexus Central Hub is now in place. Equipped with a state-of-the-art singularity reactor, our engineers are preparing to add the next, most challenging segment to the facility. The four research wings. They will be fitted with pioneering technology, able to withstand everything from violent heat to intense pressure waves and alien pathogens. They will also provide housing for our many researchers. Have a look at it. Following a long period of growing support for the Crimson Warrior Lodge, the Confederacy of Thurs Clajaman uh, has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction to their government, they have become more militaristic. Yeah, very well. That actually looks pretty awesome, though. Alright. Has that changed anything? Uh, no, it doesn't appear to have. Very well. Uh, right, uh, let's carry on. Well, actually, you can just come along and join us over there, I think. There we are. And we'll start claiming systems here. And how's this all going? We have gained a level up. You are now on the highest level, I believe. Very well played. All right, civilian ships can go back down. And let's get our armies landed. Now, have they got a fleet over there? No, my allies have managed to uh, claim that area well enough. I may only leave a single war form on each each world, or maybe just a single dappling. Honestly, communications. Uh, we forward. just want to try and take as many as we can. Uh, right, start integrating Lyra's Galactic Empire. What? No, that's not happening, scoundrel. Uh, you'd like to give? No, I don't think so. Subject integration began. Trying to uh, win this before we can. Ground invasion. We can uh, take them off. All them. objectives. It's just annoying, but clever, I suppose. I'm waiting. Uh, there we go. Actually, we've got more war forms, so we'll leave a war form there. I think. Right. Next planet to claim. Then we'll go for you. Let's get the transport fleet behind them. We'll keep them a little bit behind, though. Just in case. Otherwise, it would cause uh, a, a bit of an issue, I think. No, it doesn't look like there's anyone in here. Uh, actually, a station. Never mind, then. Right. Avakis is supplying more battleships, which is wonderful. And you can enter orbit straight away. Uh, do we have many more? We have a lot more being made. Technological acquisition successful. Fantastic. Let's go for this time. Hmm. Let's go for minerals. Alert. Absolutely not happening. I, I've told you what your terms are. You just need to accept them. There we go. Should be able to claim this world fairly Planetary easily. pacification protocols initiated. And all is done. Ground Boop. invasion units have achieved all objectives. There we go. And we'll leave a, again, one war form. Oh, where are you off to? Err. Uh, what on earth are you doing? No idea, but please don't leave the transport group unprotected. That's a reasonable sized army over there, actually. Might want to jump up there and do some damage. Ooh, I see. Let's try and take these guys out and then we can uh, move in as well. Go ahead, enter orbit. Got two fairly big armies here. That is wonderful. Two big fights to be had. 
you can go ahead and just land your armies now. They'll easily be able to take this. Planetary pacification protocols yeah, yeah. initiated. Scarcely any defenses left, and ground invasion there we units go. have achieved all objectives. Right, let's get out there and actually take them on immediately. Fourteen point seven k. How many ships are there? Oh, it's eight battleships. To be fair. Um, that being said, I'm not really sure what they're doing because they're not actually bombarding, which is curious to say the very least. You could jump up there, but they've actually already been uh, dealt with. Wow, they move fast. They move crazy fast. Let's jump over here. Hopefully they actually start bombarding so we can get in there. There we go. Technological acquisition successful. As quick as you can, please. Uh, let's see. Planetary sensor range, I think. There we go. Marvellous. Managed to pull them into the fight. And that should be the end of them. Excellent work. Right, with that done, let's go and claim some more of these systems. These are just um, outposts, though. I don't believe those are actually uh, settlements. There we are. We can then claim this one. And I think by that point, they should give up. I'm, I'm not entirely certain, but uh, I'm feeling that they probably shall. Ooh. Scientist Cogmind has died at the age of 127. Uh, rip Cogmind. Okay, we need a new scientist then. Uh, oh, okay. It is It is apparently the year of the dappling. Uh, we will take... Ekir. Go, Ekir. Let's get you renamed. You shall be... M4XX. There we are. And hopefully you can continue. Let's actually go and have a look at you. You can continue with assisting research. The nice thing about that is that it gets them level so quickly. And there we go. Got a small fleet over there. Nothing worth even looking at right now. Right, where are our combat units? Uh, let's have a look in here. Should have a decent amount of units on this planet. Yes, we do. There we go. And let's take them with us. Your victory is only yet another test of our faith. In the end, the true believers will prevail. The best possible outcome. All right. Oh, did you actually manage to absorb them first? That is so annoying. <laughs> Oh, my lord. Oh, well. Uh, it's one of those things, I guess. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, a, bit of a, a bit of a struggle on our hands. We can immediately go to war and claim their worlds, which is possibly something we should do. Uh, then the next time we'll chip off a lot more of their stuff. Oh, man. We lost th that one little empire as well. Even though that was, like, the, the biggest part of the the war score, not to get that is just frustrating. But there's worse things that could have happened. Right, we're going to need a lot more units. I think, Morovia, could you send quite a few more Bone Dragons and Oblitus Cruisers? There we go, that'll do. And Midos, if you can use the rest on Kraken Destroyers, please. There we are. That should keep the fleet quite potent, I would imagine. We've got 22 destroyers there, mind you. 36 cruisers and 43 battleships. It is quite beautiful, I must say. And they are healing up quite, quite nicely. But uh, in the next episode... We're going to go to war, we're going to claim this area, and probably by the time that we come out of that war, we can re-enter war with uh, Calamy Enterprises. And again, I imagine we're not going to be able to simply vassalize them, but uh, if we can chop off the remaining planets around here, then I imagine the next time we try, we will in fact succeed. 
But that's going to be it from me. So I hope you enjoyed and will be joining me for the next. But until then, and as always, take care, everyone. <laughs>